Geralt found Ciri at last, on the Isle of Mists where the Elven Mage had concealed her. There was no time to rejoice, for the wild hunt descended on them. They fled, Ciri teleporting them to Kir Morin, where their friends awaited. The wild hunt arrived at Kir Morin soon after. A great battle ensued, and the fortress's defenders might all have perished had Ciri not demonstrated her powers. So sudden and violent was her outburst that the wild hunt was forced to withdraw. The battle was won, the war had barely started. Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more of The Witcher 3. Now in the last episode, we fought the good fight at Kaer Morhen. Here, against the wild hunt. They showed up just like we expected them to. We were prepared. We had so many people here that were fighting and everything. And it did seem like maybe we had a good footing, but we did kept, we kept getting pushed back. And then of course, they froze everybody. They froze everyone, except for, well, two people, Vesemir and Siri. And it it uh it uh it went bad. It went real bad. It went bad. Uh not only did it look like they were probably gonna capture Siri, but he uh when I say he I mean Vesemir tried to do his best to protect her and at the end of the day the wild hunt killed him. Killed Vesemir. And it's upsetting. Vesemir is just he's he's amazing. He's awesome. He's such like the dad of the group. <laughs> but like he's not <sighs> He's a good friend. And a good guy. And it sucks that he's gone. That is bullshit. God damn it. And then s when he was killed. Siri snapped and in her distress her elder blood power basically exploded and forced the wild hunt to leave because if they had stayed the the sheer force and sound and everything was probably going to kill them so the wild hunt is out there somewhere and we're going after them this time we're not waiting for them to come to us. We are going to go crush them somehow. And yeah, it li literally, this this battle really did have that... Um, and I had a feeling that it wasn't, but it had the feeling of, like, this is the end of the game. Like, this is the final battle feel. But... No, the Wild Hunt's still out there, which means Siri won't be safe until they're done. So we got a lot to do. Now... Vesemir is on his pyre. We're going to talk to everybody here. Everybody showed up, which is nice. Even, even Letho. You no. Know? Uh, so it's, uh, it's a rough, it's a rough time. It's a rough day. Thank you. <laughs> Please. She was my ward, too. And the old should only ever stick around to help the young. You know... This hardly ends your struggle. I know. Whatever you aim to do now, remember you'll find souls willing to aid you in Skellige. Myself, Krach, his children. Yeah. Don't know what I'll do next. I'll remember that. I mean, we don't know what we're going to do next, but yeah, I'll remember that. Thanks. I'll remember that. I shall take another look at the wounded, but I'll need to go soon. I leave you some medicines. Go in hell, Thermion. Till we meet again. Nice. Thanks, Thermion. Eskel, gotta say, like, dude, are you okay? Because his ears started bleeding. What's on your mind? Kaer Morin. Can't imagine this place without Vesemir. I'll head down the valley soon. Then find somewhere else to winter next year. Uh, 
I know it's like with Vesemir gone, it doesn't feel as much of like the home that it was, but uh, stay, I understand. I do understand, but maybe we should stay together. Come on, it's the only home we've ever had. Stay. No, Geralt. Place has been dying a while. Last nail in the coffin today. Time we accepted that. Damn. I can't... I, I get it. Place has been in disrepair. It's been bad. It's been pretty bad. But... I guess it is time to move on. Just kind of... Damn. Just sucks. It sucks. That was tough. We managed. Thanks for helping. You're welcome. <laughs> Want to stay, Karen Morin? What will you do? Want to stay? Would you consider staying at Karen Morin? It'd be nice. At least for a while, till I figure out what's next. Agreed. Do it. Wow, is this the start of a friendship? Probably not, but... So? Tell me. I can say I've seen it all now. I still don't believe everything that happened. Yeah, right. It's one of the things you don't really believe it until you see it. Thanks for your help. How can I thank you? I mean, yes, but how can I thank you? Putting their lives on the line? Your lives. Your lives on the line for, well, everybody and Siri. Like, well, shit. A Risk lot. your lives for me. How can I repay you? We'll think of something. Right? Definitely. <laughs> what will you do? We're bound for Novigrad. To fight the next fight. If you miss us, look for us at the camp. Cool. I know where your guys' camp is, too. Oh, Hjalmar. There you are. Crying shame about Vesemir. I'm sorry. Thanks for your help. I had a debt to pay. <laughs> straight back to Skellige? Heading straight back to Skellige? Wouldn't be right to tarry. War with the Black Ones won't wait. You can count on me, you know. Always. I know. Thanks. Appreciate that. Like, there's a... I love the strong support of everybody here, honestly. Oh, Lambert. Thanks for everything you did for me and Siri. May I be honest? Had I known what would happen here, I'd never have come anywhere near Kaer Morhen. I'm glad I could help, but I shall leave as soon as Lambert feels better. Oh, <laughs> Damn. <sighs> going together, happy trails. Going together. You going together? I've an idea, but I need a witcher to help me see it through. Lambert has agreed to assist me. Hmm. <laughs> Good luck, and thanks again. We're even now. <laughs> yeah. Can we talk? What about? Uh. I haven't changed a bit. How are you holding up? Try not to argue with anyone, can you? <laughs> How are you holding up? Holding up all right. I love questions like that. Am I holding up? What? My dick? This is shit, Geralt, and you know it. Knew the old man couldn't live forever. <sighs> Even told Eskel that when it came time, I'd get his sword. Fits my hand perfectly, you know? But... Vesemir deserved a better death. Whereas he died like a louse. Crushed. We'll avenge him. Doesn't look that rosy to me. I get it. It, it looks pretty shitty. Like, the situation. Try not to get into any arguments, can you? They've all come here to help. Are you gonna tell me how to behave now? No, just asking you nicely. Well, how's this for a nice answer? Kiss my ass. Jeez. My God. Some things never change. See you later. Yeah, take care. 
Uh, everyone's having a hard time. It sucks. Come to see how I'm feeling. Thanks. Not bad. That's good. Ah, son. Horrible about Vesemir. I know you were close. Thanks. We were. Listen, far be it from me to stick my beard but it'll no scratch an itch. So don't take this the wrong way. I want to help, whenever you decide, but to my mind, we've got to counterattack. We've got to find the hunt, Eredin, and charge at them both like a bull at a heifer. <laughs> Not that simple. Too few of us. Uh, it's not that simple. Like, I agree, but it's not that simple. Not that simple, unfortunately. We have no way of finding them. They find us easily. Can take us by surprise whenever they want. Forgive me, Geralt, but that's the blathering of a man who clearly can't snap out of it after a tragic loss. Drink it off. Sleep it off, whatever it takes. Just get yourself together and think things through. I'll do that, Sultan. A clear mind. So you can have clear thoughts. And really, yeah. And then talk to Avalok about what to do next. I'll remember your teachings always. And the sacrifice you made. Oh, God, it's so sad. I hate it. I hate it. Why did it have to be Vesemir? I mean, I wouldn't want it to be anybody. God damn it. Uh. Shit, let's go find Avalok. And where is Triss and Yennefer in all this? Zirel can harness immense amounts oh. of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly, to no effect. I'll gladly argue with you about this some other time. Oh boy. Well, this is going to be fun. Ah, uh, shit. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Cyril from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses. Arch mistresses of magic. You mean the lodge? Oh, oh, that would be... That would be hardcore. Uh, the lodge is in shambles. Yeah, like, they all kind of scattered and they're all over the place. Many of the lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Fringilla Vigo are likely still alive. And Francesca and Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. <laughs> and then, yeah, we know about Philippa. We've never actually met her, but we know she's around. She's, she's on the run. Radovid wants her dead. And tried. But. Nah, she got out of it. Uh, I don't want to involve the lodge. Doesn't look like we have a choice. Doesn't look like we have a choice. Because the, the lodge could be really useful. Don't trust the lodge one bit. But doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Oh. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this. I won't be taken somewhere like a bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. <laughs> Gotta protect you. You're right. 
Yes, we gotta protect her. However, we can't keep babying her about it. If that makes sense. Like, she's clearly, as she's shown in that fight, she is not foolish. Like, she, she knows probably when to back out. So maybe we gotta stop treating her like a kid. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Jirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. <laughs> Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly, and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Oh, shit. God damn it, Avalok, you fucking pissed her off now. Ah, uh, god damn it. I'll go after her, let her go. Alright, realistically, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go after her. But to do anything, we just gotta make sure she's cool. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Oh boy. Okay, well I guess... All that thinking about that choice. It's okay, though. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, her powers getting out of hand would be, uh... Not... Be pretty bad for her and everybody and the world. That's a lot of weight, you know? Like... She... <laughs> Working, don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. Mm. We shall return to this later. There you go. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Geralt, please, not now. <sighs> By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. <laughs> Tell me, uh. how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Uh, oh shit. You don't have to be good at everything. I think I know what might lift your spirits. Uh, well that doesn't sound good. Lift your spirits. Hmm. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Oh shit. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? The Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. <laughs> uh, fucking god damn it Geralt that's funny ancient method <laughs> you'll regret that oh my god I love it oh wait hey, that's cheating that is cheating <laughs> Win. we'll see about that oh my god come where and are... get me crap I'm bad at this Oh my god. Well, the, how do I make more well, snowballs? Come on. There we go. Where are you? Yeah. Hey, Take that. That's cheating. That's cheating? Oh 
my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come on. Bruh. Okay, you're doing great. It's just like... Oh. Alright, come on. Yeah. Hey, that's cheating. <laughs> okay. Alright. It's going well. <gasps> no, girl, what have you done? Get her. Oh, you're in for it now. oh am I? <laughs> okay, you got lucky on that one. The ancient methods. <laughs> <laughs> I could roll around too. My God. <laughs> this is this is so wholesome. No, Geralt. Oh God, damn it. What are you gonna do? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Oh. So don't even think about it. <laughs> uh, that was great. I love that. Oh my god. Nature. Geralt. Geralt. Wake up. What? What? What's happening? Get up. We must go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen. Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. What? <laughs> and guess who's the guest of honor? <laughs> At the Witch's... Enlighten me. Enlighten me. Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll oh. have no better chance to get him. Where'd you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Oh, shit. Okay, so... How did she learn that? How did she... I don't, I don't know how she knows, but she knows. But we're gonna go up there. We're gonna take him out. And then go to Avenger Vesemir. How'd you learn about it? How'd you learn all this? Imlarith? The Sabbath? Avilach. He told me of those who chase us. Claims knowledge itself can tip the scales. Come. We shall talk on the way. I'm visit the Emperor first? Alright, Velen. Ah, oh, man. Fuck the Emperor. <laughs> Sorry. Lead on. Oh my god. Ready? That was fast. Let's go. Not just this, but I'm saying like that choice. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. <laughs> she had decided he had to die. It's been decided. Like, that choice was fast. And it's like, I don't think the other option would have been a good one in general to say to Siri, like, oh, then I know this is important to you, but we got to go see your dad first. That would have killed probably 
I would have killed the moon and everything, probably. She would have been pissed. But we're back in Velen. Oh, the... The hillock. Oh, are these the witches? The, the crones? Imlareth is hanging out with the crones? On the Sabbath? What the fuck? The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. He found his wife, took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. Yeah, it it really is. Um, that's actually kind of I actually like that she actually asks about the Baron. So, so whichever other way it would have went. Let's see, it is sad though. The Baron and his wife. That's still sad to me. But we stand to find Imlareth here. You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and we'll be on Bald Mountain for the Sabbath. Bald Mountain. <laughs> uh. So why do they indulge him and flatter his ego? Is it? Are they? Like, it's the Wild Hunt. I don't want to be like, oh, just because they're more powerful, but like, does they work? I don't know. I don't know the relationship between the crones and Imlarith, or if it's all the wild hunt. But that's... it's... hmm. Okay. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlareth attends too, as the crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Avalok's a good tutor. He knows a lot. So the hillock was twisted by them? Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlareth there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Yeah, I can't imagine. You know, it sounds like a nice name. It's probably not. Avalok claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthia, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalok's student. What? He was... One of them was Avalok's student? the fuck? How does that work? Should I shoot? The white one once served the ladies. But he's an outsider. Oh. Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink aplenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll sit down by the fire. Time we're on our way. Ooh. Probably couldn't hurt, right? We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Uh, 
Uh oh. <laughs> this guy. Oh boy, interesting. Okay, we should go. What's the feast celebrate? This gate. Why can't we get past it? The ladies descend to you. What then? What about the gate? Mentioned a gate. Said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess. The young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Valen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Huh. That's not... That's not suspicious. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta try to reach the peak. Oof. Yeah. Wait, waiting here for the off chance that they might. Doesn't look like it's gonna work out. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White One served the ladies as we do now. This dude and his crossbow, man. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Sniveling. Scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. <sighs> yep, yeah, it's like... Hold on, hold, hold on. Hold on, we're all upset about it. Nobody, none of us like it. <laughs> hold on. Why do the ladies need your children? The ladies' blessing. What's that about? Changing topics. Uh, what's the ladies' blessing? Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor beneath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns. At times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A oh. handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Tis never enough. Interesting. Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell uh -huh. us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Yikes. Okay. Oof. Right enough about this. We've got other questions. <laughs> no questions, actually. We're good. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Okay. That's him. Prepare for it. For it Shop. Prepares for you. Greetings. Ooh. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. <laughs> this. Whoa. That's so much money. Oh my god. Uh. I know I need some of both of these. By four of you. Four of you. Good on dwarven spirit. Farewell. 
because alchemy wise those are those these we just need we just need the mutagens all these I need white gold So then we need to make a uh, vermilion rebus. I believe this is vermilion because of the color. Oh no, it's cubrith. Then there it is. Now heals. And then this one is vermilion. I can't do it because I don't have any ergo seeds. I can make Robedo. Well, I'll at least buy probably a couple more. I don't want to spend all the money. That's, that's what I'm trying stock. not to do. But it's like, he's got 14. He's got a lot. I want them all. But I don't think I need that many. I'll buy all eight of that. That's fine. Okay. Farewell. All right, well, once we get a chance to go to a... Uh, an herbalist to get the other stuff. <laughs> if only they don't get their gifts are plentiful. Damn. Alright. What's up, blacksmith? Yeah? What you got? Let me see what you're offering. You wanna buy these? Oof. Not really good pricing, but that's fine. Not really worried about it right now. It's all runestone stuff. That's about it, right? Yep. All right. So long. Let's go see if we're worthy. Down the mount just before daybreak. How did they look? At once beauty and horror. Like an army in full regalia for a hard winter. Uncle Gith plenty, don't ye fret? Gave but four the year past. If only their gifts are plentiful. Well, it's because they're giving already. you a taste. <laughs> Good lady. They want you to keep coming back. Ladies. My grandson, give him health. He works his share of mischief. These guys, these guys are the ones that really worship the ladies. Like, they really do. Look, a child. Is that no, a godling? A godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Oh shit, that's Johnny. Oh when my god. Be? You're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided though it was. <laughs> see, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? Right. Uh, why are you here? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse. Same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. What about you? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> that was cool seeing him again. I was, I was a little bummed out that like we, we got our time with Johnny and then just never saw him again for the rest of the game. We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? 
I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. What does that mean? The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Oh, good grief! You're worse what? than children! Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. <laughs> what good is he? Oh Pretty my god. good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. I fucking love it. Pretty good at finding voices. Oh yeah, then go find the voice of reason and leave. Ah, <laughs> oh, god, Johnny, that's funny as shit. I just, ah, uh, fucking roasting him. God damn. But he's old and ugly. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. So he thinks he might be a guest of the crones. Big bloke, in full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. <sighs> yeah. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Okay, okay, got it. Now we now we see uh, the food chain between the two of them. And it is that the ladies, like, are... Imlareth is above them, basically. So, oh boy. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. I agree, Johnny, you're the best. Moons are rising, owls hooting, fires just a gleam. Hours late and slumber cozy, close your eyes and dream. That's pretty good. Okay, so we need to convince... Go that way, or we go this way. Let's go this way. Well, we don't have to convince, it seems. It's, it's not ready. Seems they have their own. Something's afoot. Oh my god. Something's nigh. The whole line. Where are you headed? Huh? The one night we get to fill our bellies to the brim. <laughs> Whoa, no. If the ladies got victuals a plenty, why don't they feed us more often? They're not coming. Don't miss you. Dare speak ill of our givers. Is this a cult? This is concerning. But Welcome. Greetings. Say so we don't have to convince Thecla because mind to look at your stock. she has like the sight, so she would she would know we're worthy or not. Just just from that. So I don't know how the hell we're gonna Farewell. Make that work if we're not Welcome. worthy. It's clearing up. Mm. Who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Okay. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. <laughs> Never had a man. Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. Oh uh, boy. I'm going with her. Siri, what do you think? Um That seems a little confrontational. Siri. Wonderful. Who wouldn't want to meet the ladies? My companion comes with me. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Jeez. Aye. 
Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. That's rude. That was... that seemed unnecessary to go that far, but... What's this about? What have you chosen her for? Tell him. Each year, three chosen have the honor to meet the ladies. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them and they start life anew. The last were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eyes, so she's like to be the last. Um, I'm going with her, that's that. Appearances can be deceiving. I'm worthy. <laughs> uh, okay. Appearances can be deceiving. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Mm. Girl? He's spryer than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right, you may appeal my choice. But to do so, you must best the challenge. Oh, shit. Okay. There's a challenge? <laughs> You can appeal my choice, but you first must pass the challenge. What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. That's it? That's it? That's easy. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. We do that for fun. What do you mean? I've done that for 13 Orins. Oh, shit. Okay. That's pretty far. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Orin. Okay. Now, bring me the coin. God damn it. Of course it is. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Something's afoot. Something's nigh. Ithlin's prophecy? Why is this out here? Behold, for nigh is the time of the sword and axe, the age of the wolven blizzard. Nigh is the time of the white frost and the white light, and the time of badness and disdain. Ted Deardeth, the final age. World shall perish amongst ice and be reborn with the new sun, reborn of the elder blood of Hen Iker, of a planted seed, a seed that will not sprout, but burst into flames. Estwath essay. So shall it be. Watch for the signs, and I say unto you, what signs shall they what signs they shall be? First the earth will run with the blood of Ain Said. Ansaid. Blood of Elves. Alright, that's... Oh. 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 Ah, crap. This is deep and it is gross. And as such... Where's our, uh... Killer Whale? There it is. It's, uh... My God. Okay, it's orange. I don't know why I always thought it was blue. I don't use it that often. Okay. Cool. Up. Okay. Alright. She threw the coin. Couldn't have been that bad. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Easy. Easy. What do you mean this was a challenge? She crazy. The negotiator. Is there anything else down here before I drown? Should probably go out this way, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> uh. 
And lucky for these potions, right? <laughs> All right. Oh my God. I can't get up there, can I? I don't think so. Like, I could see it, but I guess... It's not supposed to go this way. Oh god. I just want to make sure. Before I go back in the water. Okay. That's fine. Yep. All right, let's go back out the front. Hoping there was a ladder. Hopefully. This is just a crest. Like this doesn't actually lead up. No. Cool. All right, back the way, because now we are apparently worthy. Thought we weren't. We showed her that age is just, you know, it's different for a Witcher. <laughs> that and I mean, come on, how much time do we really have to bathe? Not as much as you think. Just wonderful. What? What? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, where's my relic oil? Is it this one? No, it's this one. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, get that going. What's he doing? Ah, oh, crap, the darkness. Ooh. Ouch. All right, let's go. the power slice. Oh, there he goes. Did he go? Yeah, you crazy, man. Flew all over. Alright. What do we get? Fiend dung, less from mutagen. Alright, hey. Still, good stuff. Good stuff, we'll take it. <laughs> It's really random. It's not random when we know that the hags have done that to us before. The crones. <laughs> but, uh, for one to appear here, it's like, hmm. Or was that part of your challenge? Is it more than just the coin? Was it a, was it a trap? I was beginning to worry. Come, let's get the key. Geralt? All right. Afoot. Something's nigh. Yeah. They're back. What do you want? Retrieve the coin from the lake, or what's on the peak? Can't help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell there, but only the chosen may look upon them. I know that. I want. You'll learn nothing else here. <laughs> Great. Love it. <laughs> Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold, 
He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go. Well, that worked out. That went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop whining. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a zoogle. A zoogle? Yeah. What's this? Ooh, there's just meat and flowers. She who knows? Oh yeah, we we have like we have like four copies of that book. Okay. Geralt. Yep. Let's go. Got anything in here? Ooh, yes. Thank you. Excuse me. Let's be on our way. The last of the chosen will now ascend the mount to the peak to meet. The is it? Ladies. Let the festivities begin, and let them last till the crack of dawn. Yeah. Something's afoot. Okay. Geralt? Something's nigh. Wolf. That's him. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to Await go, guys. Let's go. Us, won't we? I am I overburdened? No, not even slightly. That's weird, that keeps bugging out like that. Okay. All right. Gotta go to the gate. That's him. How do I get to the gate? Am I... Okay, so we want to go this way and up. Got it. Got it. Got it. I'm on board. I understand. Hey, Johnny. We got the key. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try that one. Oh boy. Huh. Well, that's very official. And then, yeah, there's another tree up here. It's not on the map. This big green tree. Which is different from the hillock. Which is the ancient oak here. But this is where the crones... It's like their home base? This is where they live? I don't know. But, okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Because I don't know what the hell's going to happen. We're going to pick this up in the next episode. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I can't believe we're actually going to go not only take down Imlareth, but we're going to meet the crones again. Okay, chill out, lady. Oh, my God. Okay, yes. We're going to go meet the crones again because we did promise them. We'll come back here and kill them. <laughs> we did. So it's kind of cool if that's coming full circle. If it, if, if it is, if they don't run away again. We're here for Imlarith, 100%. So really, if we can t take out the crones, that's just a bonus. So, yeah, let me know what you think. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.